Hello! It is a beautiful Tuesday. We had some snow last night. And i um, happy to be here with you. Let's check it out. This is a reading for Taurus. Reading for Taurus. I will be doing more readings for connections probably tomorrow. So if I missed any of your connection requests, just pop it in the comment section and I will add it to the list. Okay? I don't want you to feel like I'm not paying attention. I just uh... Ooh, I'm just getting some messages here. Sorry. Okay. Taurus. Taurus. Something going on. Taurus. One more. Absolutely. Taurus. Here we go. Thank you. Um, Taurus, come through. What do you have to say? No longer in defensive posture from the Seven of Wands to the Seven of Cups, both in reverse to the Eight of Wands. Hmm. To the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay. In the middle of this whole reading, the universe needs for you to understand that this is not meant to hurt you. This is a gift. The growing has been phenomenal. Now we have seven of swords upright now. Interesting. Then we have the five of wands in reverse to the three of swords in reverse. Okay. And then manifestation, the magician upright. At the bottom of this deck, we have the beautiful, wonderful queen of wands. Thank you very much. What is the dealio with these? This this energy is um, at one point um, painful, suspicious. Um, do you see this? Someone says, I want to apologize. I want to explain everything. We have the Son of Swords right under the Eight of Wands upright to the Magician manifestation in the middle of the reading. Of course, remember, this is, this is a heavenly gift. This is a gift from the universe. And you're like, thanks a lot. <laughs> Take back your mink. Take back your poils. What made you think I was one of those goils? Huh? Okay. Um, someone's going through a lot. No, no, no. Uh, uh, quite a few of you are going through. Uh, it's it's almost the pain is so great that it's almost turning numb. Like okay, I, I give in. I give in. Um, I've been asked to be in the nine of, of wands, wounded warrior pose, and um, I'm I'm about to I'm about to go cray cray. I. I don't know how much longer I can take and wait and shake and bake. Well, at least you haven't lost. There's something there. It's almost like resilience. Yeah, the temperance card, resilience of, um, wow, I've been through this. I'm, why must it be this difficult for Pete's sake? Why must it be this difficult? Universe, are you sure this is a gift? Because it doesn't feel like a gift. Universe says, don't get cocky. Okay. Um, seven of wands in reverse. No longer am I in defensive posture. This is um, the, the energy of the king of the hill. I have to stand here. I have to defend my um, my mountain. I have to defend it at all costs. And there's, it seems like... Um, People who want to strike me down there at every angle, but I'm not in that energy any longer. I can't be. I can't be. I'm exhausted. Um, so all of this has won me what? 
the Ten of Pentacles. Well, not much, just the Ten of Pentacles. I still, it's not that I'm up at night worrying. It's just like, because, because I'm not getting the communication that I need to hear, I feel... Uh, abused. I feel. I feel um, left out. I feel five of pentacles. But um, I'm getting stronger. I'm getting stronger, and it, it's almost as if I'm. I'm getting ready for that celebration. It's somehow this this holiday is going to bring. Um, I'm seeing Christmas here. Christmas, um, the nightmare before Christmas, and um, the. Ghosts of Christmas past. Okay. That message was the Dickens. Are you supposed to be more lighthearted? Just try try your best. Be lighthearted. Realize that this manifestation is just very well, oh, the the higher font. There you are, the Taurus, Taurian energy. I wouldn't be surprised if you're dealing, you're connecting with another Taurus or someone who has a very strong Taurus line in their house. Um, back again with those. It's it's like uh, good old fashioned Christmas time. Even the, the way the person, the hierophant is um, adorned, it it seems like it harkens back to a tradition. I wouldn't be surprised if something rate occurred during the, the Christmas season or Hanukkah season or the season of celebration. Let's put it like that. It's taken a lot of strength. Leo, Leo the lion, it's taken a lot of strength. The other Leo card is the sun though, and we love that. And this another golden card. So they have to take the leap of faith. They have to take a leap of faith. It's uh, it's they're being compelled to. They're being compelled to. It's that feeling you get if you've ever been on a bungee cord or a zip line, that feeling you get before you just take that step off. It's extraordinary. It's it, you have to trust. There's no, there's no two ways about it. You have to trust. You have to say this is going to be very this is going to be a very strong memory. This is going to be something I'm going to look back on and say I did it. Um, you have to trust. You have to take that that leap of faith. Communication is going to come in. It has to because your person is just again. This was like yesterday too, right in the same, right in the same, the same position. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, um, someone in this connection is running around telling everyone everything that need to tell you, but they're telling everyone. Um, almost like in a very lighthearted um, to the point of people feel their energy and say, well, what's new with you? What's going on? And they, they topically say, well, I met someone and, you know, I just feel like um, I'm called nine. Now they need to tell you. Okay. They really want to offer that for all this fire energy. My gosh. So in fire, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. From the Eight of Wands to the Six of Wands to the Four of Wands, all in the upright position. Okay, okay. And then we have the Knight of Wands. <laughs> so that tells the whole story. We can go home now. They have so much to say, but where it needs, who it needs to be said to and how, they're not sure. They don't know how to, to get that message to you. Right now they're practicing. They're practicing in the mirror. They're practicing on their phone. Everywhere but to speak to you. Mm. No longer in the shoulda, woulda, couldas, just like the Nine of Swords to the Eight of Swords. It's getting more lighthearted. King of Swords. Lighthearted and making more sense. This is going to be a lot more logical. Head over heart. Thank goodness we could really use the Queen of Cups too. Oh, no way. So here we are, Queen of Cups. She is the person who helps us regulate the extra emotions that are flying around us. The King of Swords and the Queen of Cups, they're a great combination together. And Temperance, all of these experiences have made us stronger. Leo the Lion, thank you. Ace of Pentacles, don't forget this is meant to be, you know, Ten of Hearts, not Ten of Cups rather. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, they, one follows each other. 
So they know that they, <clears throat> in their heart of hearts, they feel like they owe you an apology, that they um, knocked down so many um, routes, so many venues to, venues? Avenues. Avenues to get to you. What about a venue? Venue is an arena where you play something. I don't know why that popped up. But Two of Cups, they see you as the Two of Cups. You are their wish fulfillment when you wish upon a star. This is Aquarian energy. It's just very lighthearted. Meant to, to cheer up. No longer in the defensive posture. They, they do things just to see if you're still around. They might make even like I see someone making a funny face. Just to see if you're going to crack up. Ace of Wands from the universe, just giving a little bit more inspiration, lighting the way, making things lighter, lighten up. I hear people in the on the other side of the veil say lighten up and have anticipation for something great. Again, almost in the same position as the last read for Taurus. It, it, there's going to be a celebration. This is the Nine of Pentacles. It, she is pre-Empress. She's the card of increase. Lighten, light hearted. No longer um, in the conflict in your mind, whose ever mind this is, yours or your connections. No longer in conflict. No longer, oh my gosh, I can't do this any longer. No longer um, wondering how long you're going to be able to hold up. King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. He, um, she's providing the love in the house. Um, Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles. Okay, there's there are a lot of extra emotions here. The King of Swords and the King of Pentacles are helping to keep, um, even with a look, calm down the fears, calm down the. I can feel it. There's extra energy. It's an, it's an anticipation, anticipatory. Just like the night before Christmas, I keep on hearing that. Um, they someone really feels like they betrayed, they screwed up, they betrayed. Um, they owe an apology. They want to make things right. It's in it's in reverse. They feel like they have secrets, but um, because you're highly intuitive, they know that you know, and they know that you know that they know. So it's it's almost like. Um, I know we could we could easily skip over this part, but let's talk about it. Let's lay all our cards on the table. This um, three of swords, air energy, very intellectual. It's it's in reverse. It's letting go of the heartbreak, of the worries and the the, the extra fears. Page of Wands just desperately wants to tell you how they feel about you. They have gone through a tower moment. That was way over here. Um, they have let go of a lot of negative energy. That's why they're hoping that they can keep it kind of light, kind of keep it kind of um, a little more carefree, a little, but they, they're they going to make it right. I keep on saying, I hear you. I'm going to make it right. I'm going to make it right. Queen of Cups. King of Swords. And the High Priestess. There you go. So it, a lot of, um, leaning on, leaning into the intuition, the the soul recognition, the um, acknowledgement that both of you have manifested each other. Not easy to do. It's almost like you're balancing reality with the dream world. Going back and forth. This is, are you someone I dreamt of? Are you someone real? Yeah. Can, can it be both 3D and 5D? That's a bit of a balancing act. The Page of, of Pentacles is also here. So two plus one, three pentacles. You're, you are getting help from another, the other side of the veil. This whole connection is being helped. There's a great motherly, um, I just feel it's like um, someone who's helping. I feel a little bit of a um, kibbutzer, kibbutzer, kibbutzer. Um, someone I think there's like a matchmaker matchmaker make me a match kind of feeling to it um, I don't know that word there's speak someone speaking Yiddish to me I'm sorry I don't know um, 
very motherly, almost could be grandmotherly, kind of like um, someone who's offering support and, and offering, you know, keep on going, keep on look up and keep on looking at the stars, keep on, it's just, it's, it's lovely. Okay. The last card here in this is don't give up, don't move, don't be moved off of your seat, don't give up. Um, oh, now we have uh, seven of pent six of pentacles in the upright. Things are going to become more fair. The chariot, Cancerian energy, we're on the move. <sighs> Informing this whole read is the gorgeous Queen of Wands. Very direct. What she wants, she says. What she says, she does. Um, very direct. I want you to be able to see all of the cards here. Sorry about that. It's just gorgeous read here. We have everything. The Fool, Strength, Ten of Cups, Ten of Hearts, Ten of Pentacles, Manifester, Magician, Eight of Wands, Six of Wands, Four of Wands, The Hierophant, Leo, The Fool. Okay, you guys, another gorgeous reading. Um, I feel very strongly that something is going to occur in December around the holiday time. This is just in anticipation of some gorgeous energy coming through. All right, have a great Tuesday, and um, please accept my energy hugs and, and uh, respect it. And um, I'm so thankful that you're here. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.